It offers much improved robustness against contamination from products that contain different flow control agents, from products of different chemistries, and even from products that are different colors. You can have compatibility problems from different flow control agents, different chemistry types, there's color contamination, there's contamination even within a chemistry from different resin suppliers. If you're using PL220 as your main flow control agent, those powders are going to be more resistant to contamination from other products. Whether those other products are the same chemistry but contain a different flow control agent or whether those products um, have, are different chemistries. In other words, your hybrid containing PL220 is going to be more resistant to contamination from a polyurethane. Your hybrid containing PL220 would be more resistant from a powder coating that contains Resiflow P67. Situations where you're at risk for losing a customer because there are multiple complaints about contamination. Situations where your margins are very poor because you can't get a product out of your plant clean every time you make it, so you have to make multiple batches. Even looking at if you have multiple, uh, multiple manufacturing facilities, is there a manufacturing facility that you have either due to the product mix or just the general setup of the plant where you consistently have problems with contamination? You might want to look at switching that facility to Resiflow PL220 to see if it cuts down on your rework. If you put Resiflow PL220 in your powder coating, it should be more resistant to contamination and look better in that job shop environment than the competitor's products, especially when the competitor's product uses a different flow control agent. If you can look at your business and pick out particular problem products, whether it's a product that's very high flow, whether it's a product that goes to a customer who has poor housekeeping and consistently has complaints about your product. Those would be two perfect opportunities to look at Resiflow PL220 in your operation. If you have a particular um, customer who's always complaining about contamination problems. Whether he really has a problem in his plant with housekeeping or, or that type of thing, or whether it's just a perceived problem, if you put Resolo PL220 in that product, the complaints you get from contamination and compatibility issues should go down. Maybe you'll be able to keep that customer satisfied. If you have a base powder with PL220 in it and contaminate it with a, a powder of a different color, the PL220 tends to actually pull the color down into the coating and more or less hide that color contamination from a white to a beige, for example, if they don't have separate spray booths. Might be an opportunity to look at this where you would only put Rosaflow PL220 in your white and leave the beige or the other colors of P67. So as they're switching to the white, they might be able to reduce the amount of cleaning that's required. Let's say in your own application facility, you have a product that consistently is difficult to get out of the plant without clean. Get it out of the plant clean without having to make multiple batches or without having to do a lot of rework. That would be a perfect opportunity to try PL220 in that product. You might have to do less cleanup before you make that problem powder. 
you might be able to make a single batch and get it out of the plant, whereas in the past you might have had to make two. You might avoid it being cratered from other products in the um, grinding and sieving operation, for example. If I were starting a powder operation today, I would use it as my standard flow control agent. I think there's enough benefits that we've demonstrated in the data that we've generated to say that this is probably the most robust flow control agent on the market.